In this video, I'll show you how to charge your MacBook Air M4. There's multiple ways on how this can be done, so let me show you. First of all, in the box, depending if you have the 15 inch version or the 13 inch, 13 inch version, you'll get one of these adapters. The 15 inch will have an adapter with two different USB ports. If you get the 13 version, it will look mostly like this one. They work the same way. The most secure way of charging your MacBook is using the cable that came in the box. It's a MagSafe to USB Type-C. So take the USB Type-C connector and connect it in, in the charger that came with your laptop. Connect this to your wall outlet. And on the left side of your MacBook, you're gonna notice this is the port we need to connect this cable. It has a magnet inside, so as soon as you bring them together, they will snap. And over here on the top, you get a small light. If it's red, it simply means it's charging. So, so you just have to leave it this way until it's fully charged. What I like about this is if somebody stumble up on your cable, it will not rip your laptop off. It will not fall on the ground. It will simply detach the cable. You can also charge your MacBook using these USB Type-C ports. Both of these can be used to charge it. For this, you'll need a USB Type-C cable. Over here, I have one that came with my iPhone, but you can use any USB Type-C cable. This is not that important. I'll put links in the description of anything that I'm showing you right now, so it's easier for you to find them. So one end, you'll connect it to one of these, it does not matter which one. And the other end, you'll need a charger that has a USB Type-C port like this one. Connect this other end in your wall outlet and you'll be good to go. Now, there's different chargers on the market. This one is an old Apple charger that came with a USB type A port. You can still use it to charge your MacBook. Unfortunately, it will take a long time. This is a five watts charger, while the one that came in the box is a 30 watts. 30 watts will charge your laptop quick, while the five watts, you may need to keep it for a very long period of time. And you'll also need a cable that instead of being USB type C, is USB type A, like this one. So connect this in your wall outlet and the other end, the USB type C in your MacBook. Now there's a few settings we can change on the Mac itself. So simply by going on the top left corner where the Apple logo is located, click on it, then select system settings. From the left side menu over here, select battery and then select options. And you're going to have a few different options that you may uh, turn on or off. The most important one is over here, prevent automatic sleeping or on power adapter when the display is off, which means that when you connect your charger to the Mac to charge it and the display goes black after a few minutes, well, if you don't want the computer to shut down because maybe you're downloading something or there's something going in the background, you need to make sure this is turned on because if not, the Mac may turn off and yeah, whatever was going in the background will stop happening. But overall, this is it. This is how you charge your MacBook Air M4 two different ways. Up to you to choose which one you prefer. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, don't forget to check the links in the description and I'll see you in the next video.